everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial and it's gonna be based around my formal like look that I had in my hair I need to wash my hair so I just like pinned it back you know I'm trying to get rid of the floor why if that doesn't happen you know <laughs> it's kind of like i'll show it here as well um it's like a black and gold smoky look with a wing um my eyelash extensions are basically out right now but they're getting refilled so i'm really excited about that so i just thought it'd be a good opportunity to face up because you can't do it with fresh lashes you know let's jump into the video i don't have any makeup it's coming i've actually ordered some so i'm very excited to do a video around that stuff and it's really exciting because i've never used this brand before in my life and i've always wanted to and it's coming on its way from america america i always do my brows first i'm actually really scared to try out like a new brow product because i've like loved this product for like so many years and i know there's more products out there to use but I just straight know, you know, like it's just really hard. So in my actual formal pick, my brows are very dark and shaped. So I'm trying to make it the same, like they're very boxed in and full. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, Perfect Match Concealer. It's what it's called. And I'm just gonna curl up my eyebrows to get a clean base for the makeup look. And all the brushes I'm using, I've actually done a review on that. If you wanna go check that out, it's a BH Cosmetics brush review. I have not swapped from these brushes. They are amazing. It's been really hot in Australia. I've got like the worst tan. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I legit went to the beach with my cousin and we were just like, oh yeah, we should tan today. It was like 28, I think. And we are just like, we're not gonna tan that much. Like, we usually bring like coconut oil and stuff and luckily we didn't because we actually got so burnt. Like, you don't wanna see the rest of me right now. And then I'm gonna beauty blend all of that good stuff in. What I use for my eyeshadow, um, I use number seven, number eight, number five, and number six in the BH Cosmetics set. The worst, I haven't done winged eyeliner for like years, so it's going to be so exciting to actually do that. I'm really excited to play. So I'm going to go and start with, I'm going to start with number six. We are going to grab a dark brown. Why is everything falling? So I'm using the Morphe palette and the Juvia's Place palette. These are literally like my only palettes and I love them. I'm going to grab this colour right here to start with as a transition because I can see that she used some sort of brown on the edges and then she went black and gold. Pop that on my outer V and just kind of bring it up all the way around this crease. In the photo, it goes very high up to my brow. So I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a darker brown with that same brush. I'm probably gonna grab like, like this dark brown here because I just want it to like really um, blend easily with the black. Um, black's very hard to blend out. If you put too much, it'll get punched in the face. If you put too little, it looks like you just use a cheap makeup palette. So grab that color and just kind of deepen out the corners of my eye and the my outer V and inner V, but I'm not gonna go too high. I'm just gonna pat that right on the edge. And grab the same color again and pat that on the inner part. We really want to keep the um, center kind of clean because you want that gold to really stand out. I'm going to conceal it, but it's just easy to keep it clean, you know? And I'm going to grab a more dense blending brush. This is the number eight. It's clean as well. I'm just going to really work that into the transition shade. 
and try and make it all the same, you know? Hello? Yes? I love you. Oh! Cheesy cheeseburger. Oh, thank you! Yes? <laughs> yes! I'm like, maybe she, maybe she'll hate me because it's like fat. Yum! Or... Yes, I fucking need this. Too. You're welcome. Yum! It's that time of the month, you can't judge me, alright? Moving on, Bindo. We're gonna grab. So I blended the darker bits out as well. If you could smell my breath right now, it would not smell nice. But continuing on. Um, I have this little rounded brush that I'm going to use. And I'm going to place the black, which is the scariest part ever. So I want to pack that colour. On the outer V. Oh, this is scary. Right there. Looks like a monstrosity right now. So that's why we have blending people. That's why we have blending. And we are just going to go in circular motions. Take some time, but it will eventually work out. I am going to grab my concealer by his back. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm gonna cut this center part for a halo eye because that's what I had done. I was gonna pack this on here. And look up. And I can not see that. I need to make it more wet. I don't know if you guys can see the swatches that I'm doing right now, but I'm not sure if I have a perfect gold. So maybe I have to like do both. gold color I like to use my finger but I'm just gonna grab a bit of my brush and just do the top bit because I get really scared oh no it's working now we have to just kind of blend it out because as you can see it looks square Hi. It looks disgusting right now so we're gonna do some lots of blending so what I'm gonna grab is this color called Kenya on the Juvia's Place palette because it's like a very dark brown to black. I'm just gonna pop that in my outer V. Think that is pretty good so far. Definitely put some white on the top of my brow bone just to give it a bit of definition and um, separation because I've got separation issues actual do it's really bad but I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and I will uh, be right back I am going to continue to do the rest of my face um, I have used all these products before so I'm not gonna, I'll just list them down below because y'all already know the drill you know so I'm just going to like show them and just Basically, we're not going to talk about wing eyeliner, okay? Because this shit is just fucked up. So we're going to move on to finishing off the eye look, mining the penguin flaps that are on my eyes. We are going to continue my friends having a crisis. Anyway, 
I'll get to her in a second. Next in the photo, she definitely put um, eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes. So I'm going to do that as well. And I just used the NARS eyeliner, larger than life. Okay, so by the looks of things, she smoked out the black under my eye. So I'm just going to dab this little brush and kind of smoke out the bottom of my eyes. I remember her actually doing this for me when I got my makeup done because I kept crying. And then I'm pretty sure it looks like she put a little bit of brown on there as well. So I'm just going to grab, I think it's more of a dark brown. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like some sort of brown under my eye. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of brown on the dark brown that I use all around my lid. Blend it up. Oh, this is stressful. And this is stressful. Alright, so now I see a basically cover my bottom lashes in better than six mascara now the eyes are basically done i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face so yeah let's do it And just to finish off the look, I'm going to just grab my NYX lingerie in the shade Push Up. I need one. A bra, actually, because I have no tits. But we're just going to finish off with this lip. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe. We are nearly at 500 subs and there's a giveaway coming up as soon as we hit that number. I hope you enjoyed my actual first tutorial on recreating my formal look. I had fun doing it. I feel memorial about my younger youth days. But yeah, um, thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.